Ready at the gate, 250 main event, ready to rock and roll here as the top stars of Supercross wind up a long and grueling weekend. The fatigue's got to be a factor. Yeah, there's rider fatigue, mechanic fatigue, motorcycle fatigue. Nothing has a chance to uh, be put back to normal when you have a, a double header like this, uh, this one here in the Silver Dome, Dave. Usually you have a week in between, so uh, it could take its toll here. As the game drops, we'll find out who's got the endurance. The charge to turn one. Looks like Kodrowski might get a start. Big tangle back in the back, and that will leave Guy Cooper on the ground. What a tough way to start a 20-lap main event. Cooper's in the back. Tishner got around Mike Kodrowski to take the lead. It's the Suzuki number 23 out front with Mike Motocross Kid Kodrowski in that number two spot. He's been close, but he hasn't won a Supercross race yet this year. Bradshaw is third, and we'll check the progress of the Honda guys. No duplication of last night's turn one disaster. But they've still got some catching up to do today. As Tishner, the Florida boy, takes advantage of that early lead and tries to get away from him. That's tough to do, though. Yeah, Jeff Stanton is back away in the pack, and, and so is uh, Jean-Michel Bale. Uh, you got to look at this and say... Uh, it's uh, it's it's history unless Bradshaw makes some kind of a mistake. I don't see anyone up there to challenge him. Boy, Stan, about 13th or 14th, you saw in that field summary shot. Change of leadership as Kudrowski goes to the front. Bradshaw starts to put pressure on number 23, Tishner. And by my count, Bale, there's the pass. He's into second. By my count, look for Bale back there in about 10th spot. So Bradshaw has another great opportunity here. One man between him and a seventh victory of the season, and about eight guys between him and the Honda team behind him, the men with whom he must battle for the championship. Bradshaw has had great luck in Michigan. The leader, Kudrowski, the 125 national champion, riding the 250 here in Supercross competition and whipping the best of the business for the moment. And meanwhile, we watch Jean-Michel Bale come charging through traffic. He is around number 30, Larry Brooks, picking up another position. Bale has been under tremendous pressure here in Michigan. He responded well last night with a lot of passes. Looks like he's prepared to do that again here today. We'll be back with the Kudrowski Bradshaw battle in a moment. Back in the Silver Dome, we follow the progress of series champion Jean-Michel Bale up to seventh from 10th. Tishner is going the wrong direction. He was the leader. He's now back to sixth as they work their way up into the stand. Now back down the other side. No time to stop for a hot dog, though, because Bale, himself a hot dog, is headed for the front of this field. In contention for the championship, he needs those points. He definitely does. And the last night, it was his turn to suffer at the back part of the pack, trying to pick off riders, pick up one, two points, whatever he possibly could manage. And tonight, it's Jeff Stanton's uh, a turn to do that same thing. So the Honda guys are giving Bradshaw a break. Instead of double-teaming him, uh, you know, with uh, a top finish as both nights, they're going to uh, allow Bradshaw to sneak back up and into that points lead. Meanwhile, Bradshaw cannot get around Kudrowski, and that, too, is significant. I think it demonstrates that the rest of the field are coming up to Damon's level. Here is Stanton as he works his way along with Doug Dubach and Larry Ward. He is certainly not where he wanted to be in his scenario. This would be the weekend he would finally win the Silverdome Supercross. Huge leap past Ward, and Stanton is into 11th spot. It's a long way to the front, but again, points are critical. He's got to ride real smart right here. He, does, he You know what? He has to be aggressive. You have to do that on this track in order to make the passes, and you have to be cautious because the track is treacherous, and he makes one wrong move, and he's going to be down on the ground, and that would be a disaster, an absolute disaster. Meanwhile, Mike Kudrowski continues to hold off Damon Bradshaw. What a job he's doing. He's been very impressive here tonight. Bradshaw, the charger, has the opportunity to take over the point lead. There is every reason to think that he is a highly motivated racer, but he has not matched Kudrowski's speed tonight, and that is impressive. That is a first this season. We're seeing the best of Mike Kudrowski. Meanwhile, Jeremy McGrath, number 17, is about to be challenged by the best in Supercross. The reigning champion, Jean-Michel Bale, is sixth. Working on McGrath, who is an impressive fifth tonight. If uh, if Swink winning the 125 class is a great show, this kid running fifth in the 250 is pretty good as well. Make that six. Did you see that? Did you? How did he do that so effortlessly? Jean Michel Bale is unbelievable. 
Up front it is Kudrowski. The man behind him is Damon Bradshaw. When Damon won five in a row earlier this year, people suggested that perhaps he should park on that point lead and protect it. Then a couple of bad races, and now he came to this weekend determined to get back in the lead. Yeah, I'm going to let it hang on the edge. You know, I'm going to have to do everything it takes to win. You know, there's no, uh, definitely no pads from, no points for me to pad, so I'm going for it. I've been waiting for him to go for it. Indeed, he's closed up to within three or four bike lengths, but Bradshaw has not really put significant pressure on Kudrowski thus far. But he knows where the competition is behind him. He knows the competition is Stanton and uh, Bale. And as long as they're not pushing him, I, I think that he'll wait, uh, bide his time, look for some kind of a, uh, a passing situation that uh, would avoid conflicts, would avoid bumping and shoving, Dave. Uh, come down to the last two, three laps, I'm not so sure that he'll uh, uh, give uh, Mike Kudrowski that kind of leeway. I think he'll go for it then. You saw Bale put a pass on Kudrowski's teammate, Matasevich, to pick up another spot. Damon remains the question. A victory here puts him in the championship point lead, depending on what happens to the Hondas behind him. We're back in the Pontiac Silverdome. The lap's winding down. Dave Despain, Larry Myers, and Bob Hanna bringing you the excitement of Supercross on ESPN. And here comes Damon Bradshaw looking for the leader, Mike Kudrowski. He's alongside, and he's got the spot. What a move. Divided. He was just waiting until the final laps, and then he forced the issue. Bradshaw is riding extremely smart at this particular time. Look, he's already opened up five, six bike lengths between himself and Kudrowski. Obviously, Dave, he was just sitting back and biding his time. First time this year we've really seen Damon do that. We've uh, <laughs> not seen Damon as the, uh, what the are picture you saying of here? patience. You're not going to sugarcoat this, are you, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, uh, I'm impressed, frankly, because that's the kind of smarts that makes a champion. When you sit back and pick your spot, Thus far this season, Bradshaw has just been a charge, 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 win, win, win kind of guy, and it got him in trouble. He crashed in Indianapolis. He hurt himself. He lost the lead. He looked in danger of losing the championship. He came back here today and showed that he's got championship smarts as he puts a move on Kudrowski and takes the lead, and in the middle of a traffic jam, he will now try to hold on to the victory. Meanwhile, Bale will try to get to third as he works on Mike LaRocco, and he gets tangled up with the lap rider Larry Ward, and that'll cost him some ground. It cost him four, five, maybe six. Oh, look at the gap now between them. He was right on LaRocco's rear wheel. That definitely will cost uh, Bale some ground. Whether or not he can catch up, that's the word uh, uh, right now uh, with lap. Whoa, and Bradshaw almost threw it away on that finish line jump. Well, Bradshaw picked up the tempo to get around Kudrowski, and the tempo almost took him out as he definitely overshot that jump and missed that hay bale by inches. Big afternoon in the career of the Charlotte, North Carolina 19-year-old who would be champion of Super Draw. Take a look at the points, Dave. You get 25 points for finishing in the number one position. Then it drops down to 22. Third place gets 20 points. And fourth place, 18. So that uh, move that we witnessed uh, a lap or so ago when uh, Bale had to fall back off the pace is, is going to cost him a minimum of two points. Uh, and that could be a telltale... Uh, a situation when we get to the end of the season. Two points, a lot of points. Bradshaw takes the checkered flag. Kudrowski, a solid second here this afternoon. Second again. He really wants to win one of these things. Bradshaw stops to salute the fans. They came here to see Jeff Stanton win. Bradshaw stole his thunder in the state of Michigan. A bow to the crowd. Damon is back. Bradshaw, Kudrowski, LaRocco, Bale, and Matasevich, the top five. And the big story is Jeff Stanton back in seventh spot behind McGrath, ahead of Tishner, Emig, and Craig. Let's.